Hello grade teens. In today's video, we're going to be focusing on the reciprocals of the three basic trig ratios. You need to know the reciprocals. You need to know how to answer questions using these reciprocals. So let's jump right in. Before we look at reciprocals of our trig ratios, I want us to take a look and think about what is a reciprocal. So if I have to give you the number two, can you give me the reciprocal of the number two? If I have to give you the number three over four, can you give me the reciprocal of three over four? The easiest way to explain what a reciprocal is in maths, we don't need to get too technical. Basically, to get a reciprocal of something, we tip it over. So two can be rewritten as two over one. Any whole number can be written over one. To get the reciprocal of it, we tip it over. So it's one over two. The reciprocal of three over four is four over three. Now, the reciprocals of the trig ratios are really not that different. We'll be working with three reciprocals. They're the reciprocals of the basic trig ratios. We've got the reciprocal of thin, which is cosec, the reciprocal of cos, which is sec, and the reciprocal of tan, which is cot. Now, I know a lot of uh, my students struggle with remembering, how do I know that cosec is the reciprocal of sin? and sec is the reciprocal of cos. A lot of students get confused because sec sounds like it should be the reciprocal of sin, but it's not. How I remember it is it's the third letter. Well, an amazing math mentor of mine actually taught me this. It's the third letter of the reciprocal. It corresponds to what it is the reciprocal of. So cosec, the third letter, cosec is the reciprocal of sin. Sec, the third letter, it's the reciprocal of cos. Cot, the third letter, it's the reciprocal of tan. So hopefully that helps you. Now let's write it out. Cosec, cosec of an angle. Remember, cosec, third letter, cosec is the reciprocal of sin. Now if you can recall, sin is opposite over hypotenuse. That means that cosec is hypotenuse over opposite. Just like that. Sec, remember, we look at the third letter. So the third letter of sec is C, which tells me that it's the reciprocal of cos. Cos, if you can recall, cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. So sec is hypotenuse over adjacent. You just flip it around. So instead of adjacent over hypotenuse, it's hypotenuse over adjacent is the reciprocal of tan. Tan is opposite over adjacent. So cot is adjacent over opposite. There's a nice summary of the different reciprocals. So let's practice writing a little bit of the reciprocals. I give you a triangle K, M, N, and I've labeled the sides or the lengths of the triangle. For example, you can see that this I've called baby N, this I've called baby M, and this I've called baby K. So let's fill it out. I'm asking you for sec N. Now remember sec, look at the third letter, it's cos. So how I do it is in my head, you don't have to write it out, in my head I know that cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. That means I'm looking for something that is hypotenuse over adjacent, it's the reciprocal. We're looking for sec of N, angle N, which is this angle over here. So what I'm looking for is I'm looking for the hypotenuse of the triangle. This side over here is, is the hypotenuse, this side. Okay, so the hypotenuse is baby K. What is adjacent now to angle N? Okay, if this is the hypotenuse opposite the 90 degrees, now I look at angle N. I'm not looking for the opposite side. No, I'm working for, um, I'm looking for adjacent and hypotenuse. So I don't care about what is opposite N. So I don't care about this one. I'm looking for hypotenuse, which I've already got. The hypotenuse of the triangles, baby K. Remember hypotenuse goes at the top because it's the reciprocal. And then the adjacent will be M. And that's your answer. Okay, let's do cot of M. Now remember, cot, third letter is T. So I'm doing the reciprocal of tan. Tan originally is opposite over adjacent. So I'm looking for adjacent over opposite, the 
of the reciprocal. Okay, let's look at angle M. So look at your triangle, erase everything else. Angle M is over here. Adjacent to angle M. Adjacent means next to. It can't be this one. It can't be K because K again is the hypotenuse and I'm not caring about the hypotenuse. So adjacent would be N. So it's little N over opposite. Opposite angle M is baby M. And that's it. Okay, I want you to try cosec of angle N. Let's look at the triangle again. Okay, look at the triangle quickly. Remember, you're looking for cosec of angle N. Remember, the third letter is the one that I care about. The third letter tells me which reciprocal I'm dealing with. So the third letter is S. So cosec is the reciprocal of sin. Sin is opposite over hypotenuse, which means that cosec is hypotenuse over opposite. So if you look at the triangle, remember we're working with angle N. What is the hypotenuse of this triangle? It is K, little baby K. So our hypotenuse is little K. And what is opposite angle N? Here's angle N over here. Opposite angle N is little baby N. So it's baby K over baby N. Right, I hope that that has been helpful to understand the reciprocals of trig ratios. Remember to practice a lot more examples and check out the links in the description box below for more trig videos. Bye, everybody.